Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you this free chair I got from Amazon. I'm part of the Amazon Wine program, so they send me stuff for free. Now this is by a Chinese company called Holodell, and this is a desk chair. Now I use a lot of computer editing my videos and playing games, and I have been using a gaming chair for the last few years. Not particularly comfortable, but they look nice. Um, this one here is £199 on Amazon, which is around the price that you will pay for, let's say, a full-size desk chair with uh, back and neck support. This one here looks very futuristic, so I thought you guys might be interested to see how I built this chair and actually is it comfortable to sit on. Price-wise, £199, I guess $199 in America. Um, you get a chair which is usually quite comfortable. For example, IKEA, you can get like a $99 or £99 chair, which is like kind of the half size with a little bit of a back support. But for you to get a full back support with the headrest, even in IKEA, is about 200 quid. Uh, Amazon sent it to me, not the Chinese company, so my review shouldn't really make any difference if it is good or bad. As usual, my video is not scripted, so you know, just for me in 4K to show you what this product looks like, and you can decide how good or how bad this is. Hope you find my information useful. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel to help me grow. So what do you get for £199? First of all, this is quite heavy. I mean, yes, you can move it about, but if you're taking a flight of stairs, you might want to get some help. If you look at the side of the box, it actually gives you something to open the box with. Now, this is the first time I have seen anything like this. Now, no one told me about this, and this wasn't on the website, and I found this little plastic key thing. Have you guys seen this before? I haven't. So, um, open this, I guess. And it actually, and it actually works. It cuts the tape without like cutting it, anything underneath. I mean, it is quite sharp. All right, so what do you get? You had your shoes and instruction booklet, the armrest, the headrest. Now they all package quite nicely. I won't say environmental friendly, but right, you got your wheels, cluster wheels, hydraulic. Now, when I say futuristic, what I mean is, look at this backrest. This is where the magic happens, I guess. It's not really a foam or anything like that, it's just a fabric, but with the support that you can move up and down. Now, looking at one of the pictures on Amazon, um, when, the, when the girl, the model sitting on the chair, reach backwards, the whole back plate kind of twist, supposed to give you that kind of support. But if you're prone to having a, a backache, I don't, I don't recommend like twisting your body to reach for something behind you. All right, so these are the okay. The, these are the connector for the legs. Oh, this one is heavy. This one must be the base. Yep. And one more big piece. Why? Oh, okay. So this is the, this is the bottom cushion. Check this out. Look at how wide this is. Usually the chair base is about that size, but this is. This is kind of extra wide. It comes with gloves. My hand is usually too big for the gloves. Okay, so you have the blots here, usually with a hexagon key. Everything is labeled according to size. This time they actually labeled extra, which is really important because before I did build the field of this chair before, at the end you have a few left and you're kind of scratching your head and thinking, have I done it right? Um, yes, you have because sometimes they give you extra, but at least this time they actually separate the extra. Instruction wise, it does tell you that there's loads of adjustment that you can make with this chair, which I will go through with you. Um, it's quite clear labeled of how you need to build. It. They categorize the blocks into like uh, alphabets, explosion diagram to show you where everything goes, so it should be quite straightforward. The timestamp on my Camera is 25.39, so it took me about 20, 25 minutes to build this without my power tools. I think it will be a lot faster if I get my um, screw gun, because the bottom legs here, each of them have two screws, and the hand tightening them, hand tightening them can be a bit of a hustle. Um, construction wise, it has a mixture of uh, metal and plastic. Uh, in fact, there was quite a few bit of plastic parts to it, but the plastic looks quite strong, and I think they're supposed to flex a bit uh, with this particular model. 
high density foam for your bottom here. Um, adjustment wise, um, on, on the two armrests, you can have it wider apart by unscrewing the thing underneath. And um, with a button on the side, you can actually adjust uh, how far you go in the forward and backwards. And it's fully tiltable, so you can tilt it like that. So if you have your armrest, however you like it. So if you press the button on the side, you can slide up by that much. Same on this side. So if you need a higher hand rest, lower hand rest, you can adjust it that way. So your arm is more supported like that. I personally don't usually use this. Sideway like this, you can tilt it, but also you can make it slide outwards. If you give you more space on your waistline, one lock in place, they are actually quite sturdy. If you look at the back, this is why it looks futuristic because it's a mixture of plastic and metal. The plastic is really strong and uh, like, like the one in the advertisement say, it actually flex a little bit. It still gives you the support, but if you need to flex backwards, it can actually twist and tilt a little bit. The, the, the way I see this chair is different from my gaming chair is that my gaming chair has a little cushion, which kind of strap on to the front right here. Whereas this one here is behind the fabrics here. And the fabric is actually quite tight, so it does give you a bit of a back support right here. But I like the way that you can actually move this one up and down a bit. So you can have it on the lower back or have it higher up. The back of your head here, you can tilt it up and down just like in your car. And just like in your car as well, you can actually lift it up if you are a taller person like me. So if I sit down right here, if I want to lean back, you can see that the back plastic actually gives a little bit. So when you actually sit down, it adjusts to how, how your back is like. But if you do want to lean back, you can lift this one out to unlock it. And then it does give you a little bit more leaning backwards. Not too springy, it actually, it actually quite comfortable. Now, I personally quite like the fabric idea of being the back support instead of cushion because during summertime, it can get really hot in London, especially most of our buildings have no aircon. But if you don't want to lean back and you lock it, just push it back in and that's it. So it bounces a little bit, but it doesn't let you lean back. Headrest here, quite important because a lot of the time you're working leaning forward, but when you want to lean back, and actually used all the back as a support, you do want to adjust this. Now this is the highest it can go and it's just about to the bottom of my head right here. I do like it to be about an inch more. So there is many features that you can adjust to how, how you like to use your chair. The wheels, nothing to scream home about, the normal caster wheels. The seat itself, quite wide. Now I'm not too choppy, but there's still room to grow. And uh, like I say, you can adjust the handlebar outwards if you need a bit more wider space. Now time will tell how uh, durable this will be. So I will do an update video in a couple of uh, months time and probably give you a bit more updates in terms of how the chair perform. But if you are spending 199 pounds and you're looking at your new chair, this one, not too bad, not too shabby. So I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side video about this uh, chair and my uh, gaming chair that I have been using uh, for a while now by my computer table, so you can see what's the difference between the two. So this is how it looks like at my computer table. Like I say, it does look very futuristic. Put it back a bit. And if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, this is the gaming chair that I had for a while now. I mean, this gaming chair does have back support like this one here that you can move up and down. And the backrest here, again, so you can remove it if you want to. Whereas this one here, tilt, down, I can't put it up now one-handed. And the back support is at the back that you can move up and down. 
The only thing I would say different between these two is how how easy to keep that one clean because this one you just wipe clean whereas that one is fabric so if you spill coffee it will get stained. That's look cool. This is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Can't wait to see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye-bye.